morning, BUHS. Today is January 10th, 2013, and it's a white day. Seniors, please remember to bring your off-campus forms to your house office by January 16th with your ID card. The Peer-to-Peer -peer Mentor Program is looking for more mentors. Specifically, sophomores are encouraged to apply. For more information, please contact Ms. Heron in room 241F or attend an information session on the next activity day. BUHS athletic letter jacket applications are available from Mrs. Manning in the front office. To be eligible to order a jacket, you must be a junior or a senior on a varsity team and you must have played the same sport for two years. Application deadline is Tuesday, January 22nd. Application along with the payment must be in to Ms. Manning by that day. Today we have a special guest with us in the studio. We are joined by Ms. Cram. Hello, Mrs. Cram. Hi, Kia. Thanks for having me. No problem. So, you're now a co-teacher of the TV production class, and 10 years ago, is this what you saw yourself doing? Yes, it definitely is. Um, actually, <laughs> believe it or not, I've wanted to be an art teacher since middle school. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I've always kind of seen myself being in a school, working with students, and this class is a little bit new for me, but I'm really enjoying it. And what would you say your favorite part of your job is? My favorite part of my job, I'd say that frequently changes, but right now it's definitely my students. I've really enjoyed working with you guys this semester, um, and I've also enjoyed learning the technical aspects of TV production. And as an art teacher, what is art? Hmm, that's very difficult, Kia. Um, I would say overall, um, art is about human mark making, um, to make a story or to find meaning. What do you think art is? I think it's an undefinable awesome thing that you defined perfectly. Back to the announcements. BUHS Athletic Booster Club Sport Camp Scholarship applications are available from Mrs. Martell in the front office. On sale now are season passes for the remainder of the Colonel Winter Sports season, and you can purchase them now. The Winter Sports season pass will cost $25 for students and $30 for adults. This pass will allow admission to varsity basketball games and ice hockey contests for the remainder of the winter season. Please make checks payable to Brattleboro Union High School with a memo as seasons pass. For more information, call Chris Sawyer at this number. And a few games have been played in the last couple of days, so let's go over to Tyler to hear the results. Okay, yes, we're good now. Uh, boys ice hockey beat St. Johnsbury 5-0. Girls ice hockey lost to Northfield 7-1. Both JV and varsity girls basketball lost to Spalding. And IBL sports results. Green beat pink 78-48. Uh, white beat orange 82-41. Purple beat blue 60-50 and black beat red 56 to 54 in overtime. Apparently now we're back on this camera. Well, back to the desk. Thanks, Tyler. And just a quick shout out to Alex Fellows for the girls hockey team. She's the goalie and she had 59 shots on her last night and she saved all but seven of them. And that's really impressive. So kudos to you. The link for the Experiment in International Living's Summer Travel Scholarships is now available for students to access. This link is right here. In the Select Organization pull-down box, select Vermont Ambassador. See Ms. Abascal in the MCL office room 212 if you need further information. Catalogs are still available in the MCL office if you need them. The deadline has been extended to the 1st of March 2013. Here's a clip of information on Project Renew and then over to Greta with the weather. Students for Renew is a student-led organization. Students for Renew is a student-led organization that works to mitigate the effects of unexploded bombs and mines left behind by war. We focus on Vietnam because the Vietnam War era is a major component in our curriculum here at BOHS. 20% of the country of Vietnam is contaminated with UXOs. This map shows the contaminated areas. We hope to raise money and, more importantly, awareness for UXO victims. If you are interested in learning more, contact Bill Holiday at WSESU.org. Hello. So today for the weather, today there will be a high of 39 and a low of 21. It is going to be pretty sunny, but it's still cold, so wear a sweater. 
Tomorrow is Friday. There will be a high of 40 and a low of 32. Partly cloudy, a little warmer. I would still wear that sweater. Yeah. Um, the word of the day. Today's word of the day is flow. Having good flow is one of the most important parts of being a lax bro. It is plain and simply a bro's hair. Long, nice, but should be tamed, of course. The style and essence of a true lax bro usually referred to as long, wavy, and or curly hair. This word can be located on UrbanDictionary.com for any further questioning. Thanks a bunch. Back to the desk. Thanks, Greta. There's free SAT prep on March 2nd, 16th, and 23rd from 1.30 to 4.30. You must register online at bratortho.com. Yeah. Click on the SAT prep link. Registration is currently for juniors only, but starting February 1st, students from other grades are welcome to sign up if space allows. Today is also Adam Manley's birthday. Happy birthday, Adam. Woo! Woo yeah. Um, well, BOHS, that's all we have for you today, but we'll leave you with a clip uh, about the winter clothing drive. We will see you tomorrow. Please help Ms. Johnson's, Mr. Perrin's, and Ms. Johnston's advisories with their winter clothing drive. Collections have already started and the drive runs till January 18th. There's a box in the front lobby if you're willing to donate hats, mittens, gloves, coats, and any other winter clothing. It all goes to the drop-in center in Bradbrook. Help support those in need of staying warm.